this is not the next project. But what I want to show you is this cabinet. We got on Facebook for $50. It is anywhere from 1898 to 1940s is when they were popular. And it's got roll out drawers. And the window or the glass panes come out and they sit inside there like that. All of the drawers work. There's two panes missing. And it has a ton of work that has to be done to it. It's seven foot long, it's 33 inches deep, and it's 52 inches tall. I'm gonna restore it back to original, minus taking off about 10 inches from the width. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with it, but for $50, these things go for anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000, depending. This was in a, a storefront in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and we had to get it because of the price. It does need a lot of work. It's all the doors need to be repaired. Once I take the 10 inches off of the depth, I'm gonna to have to cut the drawers. This whole thing is wonky back and forth. The bases are uh, torn up. There's termite damage in the back. Uh, haven't really seen the top too much. Some of the, the panels, or the uh, trim pieces are popping off. They said there's a lot of damage, but it's not anything that I don't think I can fix. It's just gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna go in our bedroom. And uh, once I get around to it, it'll be a pretty cool little project to show. So uh, for right now, I'll just kind of walk you around and show you the before and then at some point, I'll get to the after. But well, here we go. Let's check it out. First things first, this right here is not even oak. The whole thing is made of oak. The drawers are made of poplar. And it looks like at some point this has been repaired. It's not oak. It looks like a piece of poplar or something. But the, the face of it is, you can tell there's quite a bit of damage there's one drawer, door there, one there, lots of damage there. All of them are pulling off. They're crooked. They don't line up. Once I cut it, the 10 inches off, I'm gonna square everything up, re-glue all the joints, repair the damage. You can see that it's damaged there. There's a, uh, this panel back here is coming off. It's separated all together. Back here, I'll lift up from the bottom, but uh, it's just a lot of damage. But it's a beautiful piece. It's termite damage there. Which I've got, I've got oak, so I'll replace it. And these are just panels. but it's been stained two or three different colors. You can see this is peeling off here. We'll have to make new trim pieces. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of work, but in the end, it'll be outstanding. It'll last another 100 years or so, at least. I'll show you the top if I can get up there to it. not too bad but I'm hoping once I get through all of dance recital I'll be able to start on this actually come out 
but they also lock. They've got pins, but they didn't come with it. I'll have to make those the slides. The pull handles are also missing. But couple of rollers in the very back. And they'll stop. excited about doing it. It'll be a real nice piece to restore soon, but not right now. So if you want to see this, I uh, recommend hitting the notification bell, subscribing, and hopefully in the near future I'll be getting around to this. Well, it will be. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. I've got the, the house the garden, my daughter's dance recital, this big project, um, little baby chickens. Yeah, we're just enjoying life. So if you want to see the repair of this, stick around. I would say probably end of May it's going to happen, but not before then because I've got a dance recital to do and a house. So, all right. Thanks for watching.